Hey everyone, it's Writer Anne, and I'm here with a speed paint video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, and so I thought I would change it up with having some voiceover. So this illustration is actually for a small coloring book that I'm working on. And I figured I would record the process and upload it to YouTube because I have a YouTube channel and that's what it's for. At this point I had already done five of these six illustrations and so I figured I would ask on my Twitter what people thought I should do next. And of course Dragon won because Dragon is best. So going off that, I figured dragons are old. Dragons like looking and investigating and gaining knowledge. How about an astronomer dragon? So I started off sketching, tried a couple different poses, a couple different body shapes, and then ended up going with my first sketch because that's how things work sometimes. And here's me suffering once again with not being able to find a face design I liked. That was kind of another downside of not doing a secondary sketch, which I sometimes do if I'm kind of unsure where I want to take a drawing. And so because of that, I ended up redrawing this face like three or four times. Just trying to decide what I liked. If I wanted the eyes smaller, if I wanted a face shape that was a bit more mammal-like. But I did end up going with scales. I wasn't too sure what kind of design I wanted for this character. Other than the theme of stars and planets and just a general collection of things on this character. The scenario I kind of built in my mind was that this dragon was just out in a field and decided to set up just a little spot and look up at the stars. Maybe he's charting something. They have something in their hand. It, it's like a kind of compass thing. I'm not entirely certain. You know, it's a dragon-made instrument. It's, it doesn't follow human designs. Of course not. In an attempt to tie the design together, I put some lines, some shapes, some forms? I don't know what you would call those. On the scales, especially on the neck, that kind of emulate that pointed cartoon way of drawing stars that I, you can actually see I did on the antlers. I don't believe you can see the images I used as inspiration for this piece, but the rings were inspired by the old astronomy instrument tool, um, where it's like a sphere with rings. I think it's supposed to emulate the celestial sphere, but I'm not certain on that. So originally this project was hopefully going to be something I could just print at home and put in my Etsy shop, but that didn't quite work out because none of our printers use waterproof ink. And that's a problem because I specifically wanted there to be the option for watercolor. So I'm gonna actually have to get this professionally printed. And because of that, I need to do two more illustrations to kind of make the cost worth it. So one of the two will be a Pegasus and the other is still up for debate. Um, I'll put a poll of some suggestions, I guess. That's a thing you do on YouTube. If you have other ideas, put it in the comments, if you want. But if you are interested in maybe getting this coloring book in the future, I will have a link to my Etsy shop, but I will also possibly be doing another speed paint of one of the other two illustrations I'll be doing. And when I finish that, I'll post it to YouTube as well with an actual link to the listing. But yeah, that's all I have to say for now, so I'll enjoy the rest of the drawing.
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what animal you think I should draw for the next illustration, and have a good one. <laughs>